Hi there, I'm Karen Brown of Just Get It Done Quilt. We're gonna have a little fun today. So have you ever gone on a fart to get some oaks to work on your PhD or your WIP only to find it so many months later as a UFO? Am I making any sense whatsoever? If you need some help translating these acronyms, stick with me and I'll show you how to do it. So are you ever reading an online post and it sounds like quilters are talking a different language? Well, Acronyms are alive and well in the quilting community. Some are from patterns, some are from the online community. So sit back, have fun, and we'll go through some of the most popular ones. Speaking of online, you might want to take part in a BOM, an RR, a QAL, or a swap. A BOM is short for block of the month. This could be a monthly pattern or a kit and 12 months will make a quilt. RR stands for round robin, which is usually done at the guild level, where you make a row, block, or round, and then pass it on to the next person. QAL stands for quilt along. These are done online with a specific time frame, with participants posting pictures of their progress. A swap is just an exchange of fabric, blocks, or quilts. It can be organized online, within your guild, or just between friends. You might be asked to bring a BSK or a BSS to a workshop, which is a basic sewing kit and supplies. We download patterns in a PDF, which is a portable document format. But don't confuse it with a PFD, which is Project Prepared for Dying. Now, I'm not sure if that's a project prepared for me dying or preparing a project to die. Now your project might be PP, which is paper piecing, but don't confuse that with EPP, which is English paper piecing in something quite different. And then there's HP, which is not a printer or the sauce, but means hand piecing. So there's HQ, which is hand quilting, and you can do that SID, stitch in the ditch, but not if you HSY, which is haven't started yet. There is also FHS, free hand sewing, which is the same as FM, free motion quilting, which you can do on your DSM, domestic sewing machine, or your FW, your featherweight, or you can do it on your LA, your long arm, or give it to an LAQ, which is a long arm quilter, but don't confuse that with an FAQ, which are frequently asked questions. You might have a bob, a block on board, as in what block is on your design board. And that might be a D4P, a double four patch, a DIC, a double Irish chain, or a TIC, a triple Irish chain. Your block might be an OBW, a one block wonder, or a QAYG, which is a quilt as you go, or an SNW, a stack and whack, which is a lot more fun than that sounds. You might need a QCR, which is a quick curve ruler, or SAS, steam a seam. And maybe your blocks all come together to make a DJ quilt, a Dear Jane quilt, or a GFG, Grandma's Flower Garden. And fabric is sold by the YD, or YDS, yards, unless you're in any other country but the US where it's sold in meters. We have WOF, the width of fabric, and we also have SOG, straight of grain. That can be vertical or sideways. And if you take a yard and you cut it into four equal pieces, those are called fat quarters. And if you slice one of those in half, it's called a fat eighth. And we have the RS, which is the right side of the fabric. Sometimes you see RST, right sides together, or RSFT, right sides facing together. Now, I never really saw the wrong side talked about in a WS, probably because in quilting, we never sew with the wrong sides together. A right angle triangle is called an HST, half square triangle. And when two are sewn together, it's called an HST block. And not to be confused in Canada with the HST tax. Our fabrics might be TOT, tone on tone, or WOW, white on white, or COC, cream on cream. And you must be very careful because there's, there's a number of medical conditions that you should be aware of. There's FOB, fear of binding, which could lead to too many PIPs, projects in progress. And if you're doing too much farting, fabric acquisition road tripping, that might lead to 
some FAD, fabric acquisition disorder, THAD, thread acquisition disorder, PAD, pattern acquisition disorder, and then SMAD, sewing machine acquisition disorder. And if you have too much sable, stash accumulated beyond lifetime expectancy, and sex, stash enhancing experiences, it will lead to squids still quilting to the day you die. And lastly, we have the animal, pigs, projects in grocery sacks, toads, trashed object, abandoned in disgust, my personal favorite, wombat. <laughs> Waste of money, batting, and time. And for all you Game of Thrones fans, we have a DQ or a dragon quilt, as in dragon this everywhere. So how many of them did you get right? So I've accumulated a list of 123 acronyms and some nicknames, and I've got them on a handout. And you can download it from my website at jessicadunquilts.com. If I've missed any, please put them in the comments below. Or better yet, how about you make some new ones? It sounds like I should be making this into a quilt game of some kind. And if I ever do, I'm going to put a link up here. So I hope you had as fun as I did with some of these. If you want to watch some more videos from me, I'm going to put a suggestion right here. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell if you want to be notified when I make new videos. Take care and I'll see you next time.